good morning. So you might hear the defrost on the car. Um, welcome back. Welcome to day one. Day one officially of the journey to the new me. So I have the defrost on because it is 30 degrees. I am out here like an idiot with short sleeves on. My jacket is next to me. I didn't think to put it on before I ran out here. But I am on my way to work and it is seven in the morning. So yesterday, after I posted that video, I worked for a few hours and then, oh, that eye looks like it's looking over there, okay. Um, I worked for a few hours and then I ended up going to the diet doctor because I know that I am, I, I'm a stress eater. I am notorious for jumping on fad diets and then forgetting them after I go spend hundreds of dollars on, on whatever groceries I need. So yesterday I went to the diet doctor and I got a list of things that are good for me to eat and I picked up some supplements. Um, well, I shouldn't say supplements. I picked up some Phenermine to get my metabolism started. So I will be starting that today. And then I picked up some meal replacement shakes that are made um, by excellent, what is it, health-wise. And I got three different flavors. I'm really hoping that I like them. I'm really, really hoping that I like them. So I figured I would do this while my car defrosts. I've only had one cup of black coffee this morning and I don't feel like my brain is plugged in because I've become so dependent on that caffeine level. Um, so I'm gonna go through the flavors that I got. Again, this is sold at the Diet Doctor um, establishment and so I don't know if you can get them anywhere else. I didn't Google it last night. I probably should have, but I didn't. So again, it's by HealthWise. There is 15 grams of protein in each one of these as a meal replacement and that's what I need because I can very easily carry my drink around with me and this will give you um, everything you need. So you're supposed to add eight ounces of water. You can pour the water into these little containers, shake them up. I have my own shaker that I prefer. I'm one of those people that if I have a really cool cup, I tend to stick with it. I don't know why, because I'm a child. Um, so I got chocolate peanut butter because who doesn't like a Reese's cup for lunch? Um, this one has 118 calories in it. That is actually going to be my lunch today. Oh, and I just threw it. Hold on a second. Let me get that back where it goes. I have an entire bag, like a grocery bag full of these little containers. Um, I basically got one for breakfast and lunch for a two week period to get me started. Um, I also went to the grocery store, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. So this is the strawberry one. And when I got this one, the guy said it's best cold. So he said he mixes his up and sticks it in the fridge for about 20 minutes before he drinks it. And, and that makes it, um, it, he said it just makes it better. It's like a strawberry shake from McDonald's is what he says. And this one is 80. So that's the strawberry. And then for my breakfast today, we are having chocolate salted caramel because that's usually what I get. I get a salted caramel or some sort of caramel macchiato or something um, when I go to grab coffee in the morning. So I figured we'll trick the old brain. So there is the um, chocolate salted caramel meal replacement. And then, um, let me see. I filled this up in the kitchen in the dark because I was trying to be quiet and I need to dump out quite a bit of this water. So let me do that real quick. And it's my driveway and it's water. So let's, let's not get, oh, she's littering. No, she's not, she's pouring water in her driveway. Um, and we need to go down to right there, so. Almost perfect, I think. This is one of those ones that's kind of hard to see. Okay, I believe that's it. Let me... I probably need to get a Sharpie and actually like mark it where I can see it. It's a little over eight, but it's okay. So we're gonna put the shake mix for the meal replacement into my cup. I heard from somebody that was waiting in the lobby that these are really good. 
Um, she's been doing them for about a month and she said, sorry about the close up again. It tends to happen in these car vlogs, doesn't it? Um, she said that she's had really good success and that she is not hungry after. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm not crazy about mixing it with water. Um, the meal replacement shakes that I normally do, I mix with almond milk, but we're gonna give this one a shot. Worst case scenario, I don't like it and I have to mix it with almond milk. So I got this yesterday because I am going to be a Wonder Woman. I am going to make this work. And it says you have to shake the bejesus out of it. It's not really clumpy, so I'm excited about that. I mean, there's a little bit of, um, I can see a little bit of the powder on the side. Oh, there it went, okay. So we're just gonna keep shaking. I wonder how loud that's gonna be. When I replay this back, I'll probably laugh and be like, probably shouldn't shake those. I don't know, every time I think that a sound is gonna be absolutely horrible, when I play it back, it's not that bad. Okay, so that mixed up really well. Um, as I keep shaking it because I'm weird like that. So let's give it a taste. Wow. Wow. That is really good. It's not chalky. It's not bitter. It doesn't taste like the... Um, lean protein and, and those other meal replacement shakes that I've been using. It doesn't taste anything like the Herbalife that I was on the last time that I, I lost a lot of weight. You definitely can taste the caramel in it and the little hint of sea salt. So I am really excited about that. And my water was not like cold, cold. So I bet if, and it doesn't taste bad with the water. The consistency is very similar to the caramel macchiato if you get it as it's supposed to be because as you learned in yesterday's um, video, I can't just go order a caramel macchiato. I have to get it my way because I'm not going to pay almost $7 for a cup of milk with a little drizzle or something in it. I want a cup of coffee. So it has the same consistency basically as a caramel macchiato. Mm very excited about that very excited excuse me again let me, let me go down into my my floorboard over there and take care of my trash hold on i'm gonna put the lid back on this oh, this little ring thing is catching on everything so okay first impression i can i can see myself doing the caramel macchiato the other flavors we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so I also got the Phenermine. Um, cover up that part. So I'm doing the 37.5 milligrams and I have done these before. They were really helpful. Hair all over my blue shirt. So the first couple days you only take a half. So we're gonna follow the rules and take a half. Make sure that half got back in the container because these are expensive. Um, so that's exciting to have this little bit of assistance jump starting my metabolism. It says that you're supposed to take them on an empty stomach, but I have um, ulcers from stress. Oh, that opens so I'm drink it. So while some people might be able to take it on an empty stomach, I always make sure that I have a little something. Um, so I had my cup of black coffee and then I took a couple sips of that shake okay 
so this is the packet that they give you when you go in. They give you a little DVD um, so that you can watch and understand metabolism and how things work. And then they give you this tip sheet, the bad stuff. Um, I don't agree with this 100%. I eat a lot of fruit and still lose weight when I go through weight management. Sweets is a downfall for me, so that's going to have to be, which is funny. I was never a sweets person until about a year ago. And then every time I ate, I felt like I needed something sweet. So I know my body's trying to tell me that I'm missing something, and it's probably missing being healthy. Potatoes, rice, pasta, corn, beans, and peas, and other starchy foods. That's their list of bad stuff. Well, I don't agree with that because I think that brown rice is beneficial, especially if you do a grilled chicken breast and some brown rice along with your veggies. Let me fix this a little bit. Um, I think that is okay. So it goes through some tips on the other side and I'm just gonna go through them really quick. Don't use butter or oil. Um, Pam cooking spray and I can't believe it's not butter or acceptable solutions. They are zero fat, zero cal, and zero carb. I actually do use Pam cooking spray. I use the olive oil cooking spray to spray my chicken breast when I throw it in the air fryer. Do not skip meals or snacks. So for snacking suggestions, what they say is beef jerky, spam, tuna, a protein shake, um, not the meal replacement, but a, a protein shake, soy nuts, and three to four slices of deli meat. Now I do like to go to Walmart and get their um, oven roasted chicken breast sliced sandwich meat. I do like that. Don't fry your food. <laughs> no, nope, not enough coffee. Don't fry your foods. Don't fry your foods. Grill, broil, roast, bake, or boil. Don't eat the chicken skin. I think I'd be okay with that. Um, use seasonings. So they say use vinegar, garlic, lemon, lime, bouillon, salt, and pepper for taste. Avoid sucrose, fructose, fruct, fructose, <laughs> corn syrup, and starch. Um, drink at least eight glasses of water per day, which that would be four of these completely filled. No, two of these completely filled. I mean, I'll go for four, but avoid granulated or powdered sugars. Use artificial sweeteners, equal Splenda, sweet and low. Keep carbohydrates between 20 and 50 grams a day. Stay away from all bread, cereal, potatoes, noodles, rice, corn, and fruit. Well, now, come on. We know that's not gonna happen. We're gonna learn how to do it correctly. Exercise three to five times a week. Even a 25 minute brisk walk will increase your weight loss. Avoid all alcohol. That ain't happening either. Do not cheat. <laughs> okay, well I'm not gonna cheat, I'm gonna modify. But I told you guys, this is the dirty truth of it all. This is actually taking you through my journey. I am not gonna give up my wine. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up all of my starches. I will learn how to pick the best ones and eat smaller amounts. Um, they do give you a like a tracking sheet to make sure that your blood pressure is not going up too high because of the phenamine, which I'm okay with. Um, I have a high heart rate anyway because I am such a stressed person. I did get a B12 shot yesterday because I am exhausted all the time. I literally feel no different today than I did yesterday. Um, as far as energy level, well, that's not true because I did wake up a little bit easier today. Eat small amounts often. So they say beef jerky, summer sausage, ham, lunch meat, chicken, tuna ham, turkey salad, low carb protein shakes or meal replacement bars in between meals, aged cheeses, don't do the processed sliced cheeses. So they say Swiss cheddar, mozzarella, and hard boiled eggs, which I forgot my hard boiled eggs. Jeez. Um, so this is like a more in-depth kind of explanation of that little tips sheet. I think they give you the little one so that you can hopefully take it with you and pay attention. And then things you cannot have, Gatorade, Powerade, rice, corn, green beans, lima beans, no dried beans of any kind from black eyed peas to field peas, no breakfast cereal, hot or cold, regular oatmeal has 26 carbs. Okay, see, that's where I have a problem. Because if you're supposed to limit your carbs from 20 to 50, and oatmeal has 26, if you go carb-free for the rest of the day, why could you not have a big bowl of oatmeal in the morning? So like I said, I'm not gonna cheat. I'm gonna learn how to take this information and revise it to fit what I know I will do. That way I don't feel. Diets, 
caffeine free diet caffeine free soda is acceptable you may not use Mountain Dew Red Bull any equivalent any product equivalent to Red Bull 7-Up Sierra Mist you use diet to avoid sugar no caffeine you may have two eight ounce cups of coffee a day you may use any creamer any coffee beyond this limit must be decaf okay I think that's because you're using phenamine. Um, so they list again spam turkey salmon I did buy some salmon I'm gonna go into my um, grocery listing so they give you all these little catfish salmon ham turkey beef or pork sausage unbreaded chicken breast wings or strips filet mignon which I don't eat asparagus broccoli snap peas zucchini there's there's a whole list I'm not gonna go through all of them if you want to know exactly um, the foods that this recommends or says stay away from message me and I will get that information to you I'm just not gonna sit here and read this whole entire thing then they give you a sample meal plan which I am remotely excited about um, because it in here's why the sample meal plan on here scrambled eggs with cheese or McDonald's egg McMuffin with cheese and bacon hold the muffin so they're taking the carbs out from right there your snack for in the morning is four slices of deli ham with cream cheese and a half a cup of blueberries. Lunch, chef salad with cucumber, tomato, onion, bacon bit, cheese, meat, and your dressing of choice. Snack two is beef jerky or protein shaker bar. Dinner, chicken breast the size of the palm of your hand with broccoli and cheese. Um, they give you ways to be able to eat out. And that is important to me too to be able to still enjoy things that everybody else is enjoying. They have Hardy's low carb breakfast bowl on here. Um, a lot of salads, which I'm fine with. A Crystal's breakfast scrambler, I'm fine with that. I like the two boiled eggs with four to six slices of turkey bacon. That's probably gonna be my absolute favorite. Um, they keep saying cottage cheese on here, which I can tell you right now is not gonna happen unless something drastic happens with my taste. Maybe if I get COVID and um, lose my taste and regain it, I will like that. So I went to the grocery store and I picked up chicken breast, brown rice, a bunch of veggies, a bunch of fruit, um, some avocado to do avocado toast because I know for a fact that good fats are good for you. Oh, sorry, I'm getting messages. And I picked up, um, a lemon thing for lemon water. I got some buffalo kosher dill chips because I've not had them and they are zero calorie, zero fat, one gram of carb. So I figured we would try these. And then of course I got tuna packs. So I got the chunk light tuna in water. I always get water. This is 19 grams of protein and 80 calories. I got two of these. Um, protein is 19. Zero sugar, zero fiber, zero carbs. So this probably will end up being like my snacks through the day, just because of how convenient it is. And then I got sweet and spicy, which is 15 grams of protein, 80 calories. So it's a little bit less in the protein, which I'm not sure why. So I got that one. Again, zero fat. This one has um, four carbs one gram of fiber, four grams of sugar. So this one I won't be eating as much. I don't even know that I'm gonna like it. It's sweet and spicy, and I'm not sure what that flavor actually is. And then because I'm going back to the gym starting tomorrow, I stopped and got peach mango pre-workout explosion um, to help with the fatigue that I feel every second of my life. All right, my car has defrosted, so let us head out to work. So, oh, my cat just ran in front of my car. That was not smart, Tom. We have um, a cat named Tom because he used to bring home squirrels alive, not dead. He would just bring them home, play with them. Uh, so we called the squirrels Jerry and we would say, Tom, take Jerry back to the tree. I know it's not a mouse and I know it really doesn't go together, but you know, we do rescue and we try to name everybody who comes in. You run out of names. You start numbering them. Uh, nah. We've never numbered our animals. Everybody has a name. Um, all of my animals actually have 
human names except for my cats, and my cats are all named after food. So we have sushi, um, cucumber. Right now, Tom is the only one with a, well, I can't say that because some of my cats are named after cars because I have Bentley and Mazda. And that's, Mazda was found under a Mazda and Bentley has a bent ear. He was born with uh, birth defects and he has an ear that looks like a piece of origami artwork on the side of his head and he is cross-eyed. So he is the most gorgeous, gorgeous cat that I've ever seen. And so we named him Bentley because his ear's bent, you know, because I'm not original, but obviously. Like I can't, I'm just not. So this is the morning of true day one, true day one. I have my shake, I did my phenamine. Um, about midway through the day, let's see, it's 7.30 right now. Really a late start compared to what I want to, wanted to. Um, about midway through the day, I'm going to do a workout at work, some squats and things that I can do in my office. I have some resistance bands and my office is actually in the therapy gym at where I work at the waters. And um, I have access to a few things there that I can actually get on. They have like this bike thing and just a few things where I could do some low, um, some more resistance kind of stuff just to kind of get the muscles ready for tomorrow because tomorrow is going to start at 5 a.m. At 5 a.m. I will be at the gym and do my cardio workout, hit the tan in bed, get my shower, and then head to work. So, all right, so here's to day one. Um, if any of you guys are starting on your personal journey, if you come across this and you wanna share, if you want some tips, if you wanna compare, um, I'm all for that. I am not for slamming or um, belittling, degrading, talking nasty about other people's choices. Oh, I forgot my cucumbers too. I'm probably gonna have to stop by Walmart because I need to get a salad and some cucumbers and some hummus because real quick before I go. So my intention is um, meal replacement shake for breakfast on days where my work schedule is slower and I'll be able to sit down a salad for lunch. My snacks will of course be tuna. I will get some rolled up deli meat, but I also like to do cucumbers and dip it in a little bit of hummus. Um, I like to have baby carrots and dip those in hummus. Um, about uh, usually about six baby carrots with a little bit of hummus, and I'm actually satisfied. Which is funny because you wouldn't believe that as as fluffy as I've gotten in the last year. So I'm probably gonna have to stop by Walmart today and pick up. No, no, I'll do a meal replacement shake. See, this is what happens. I start talking myself into. Um, really getting off of a plan that was already made. I already made a plan. I talked about it when I got in the car. I'm doing the salted chocolate salted caramel meal replacement shake for breakfast and then I'm gonna do the chocolate peanut butter cup for my lunch and I got the tuna for my snack. The only thing I forgot was my hard boiled eggs so I'm gonna stay away from Walmart because if I go to Walmart then I'm going to want to buy other things because I'm gonna see them. Not because I need them, want them, or have to have them, just because I see them. So we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. Another thing that I have to do is when I get to work today, I have to clean out my cabinets and take out everything that does not support a healthy lifestyle. So, oh, here is one thing that the diet doctor does have, which I'm probably gonna be snacking on this morning. I tried them yesterday. This is um, one of the snacks that they rec recommend. It's 130 calories for this whole bag. Okay, so some people do the 100 calorie snack pack kind of things. This is a huge bag and it was up to like right here when I opened it yesterday. I ate probably, so it's right there now. Um, this is, let me see, it's 12 grams of protein in this one snack. And this one is the pizza flavor. It's protein crinkles, 12 grams of protein. So I love how they put that on there. Photo enlarged to show texture. They look and feel like crinkle french fries. Let me show you one. 
They look and feel like crinkle french fries, but they're pizza flavored and they taste just like a pizza Pringle. That's kind of exciting, right? So they look like this. Tell me that does not look like a seasoned crinkle fry. Mm. That will be my morning snack. 12 grams of protein, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. They have redone a section of my interstate. I knew that they were working on it and I literally just now saw it. I drive this way every single day. So, again, here's today one. If any of you guys are um, getting started on your journey, you want accountability, you want a little bit of um, camaraderie, you want somebody to complain to when you don't like your crinkle chips or you don't like the taste of your, your shake, um, hit me up in the messages down below, in the comments down below, and um, we can do this together. I know I'm going to do it, and I'm, I'm going to stick with it this time, and it's a thing, and it's a, oh, and I went and bought workout clothes yesterday, so now I have to be committed because I spent money on clothes. So anyway, you guys have a great morning, and then I will be back with you later this afternoon to go over a uh, workout that I'm going to do while I'm at work, let you know some office moves that I've learned. Um, I actually picked the brain of a couple of people for things that you can do while you're in the office that won't make you sweaty and nasty and make you stink while you're at work, but you can still get the calorie burn that you're going to need. And then hopefully I'll be able to finish um, reading through this true crime that I picked yesterday. I'm trying to do just a, a small one to get started on it again. I've got to get my schedule down for when I will be doing true crime versus um, the weight loss journey. So that's it for now, guys, or else I'm going to sit here and blabble for 15 or 20 more minutes as I drive down the interstate for the simple fact that my brain's not plugged in. I did not have my normal excessive amount of coffee to get started. And it's Sunday at 7.30 and I'm headed to work again. So anyway, you guys have a great morning and I will catch you back here in a little while. Peace and palm love.